Okay, trying a uh, real-time shot of a few objects in the sky. Uh, we're staring right now at M42, the Great Nebula in Orion, uh, seeing it at 6x magnification through a Gen 3 on film image intensifier. And a Panasonic GH3 camera set to 1 60th of a second shutter. ISO is uh, 400. And I've got it in an f1.7 uh, 6x night vision lens, M42, and the Sword of Orion. Pretty clean, pretty easy to make out. And uh, we can go up a little bit. I'm just going to pan around here and into the belt. Three stars in the belt. Leftmost star is all in the tack, and if you go over to that star, you'll see um, to the upper left of it, there's a faint patch of fuzziness, and that would be uh, the um, Flame Nebula. I've got a car over here, and you can, if you see any flashing on the screen, that's from the car. It's freaking lights. There's always somebody around at night with car lights. Okay, so that's the Flame Nebula. You can see it's got a little bit of a dark area that runs sort of uh, vertically a bit and then to the right or somewhat diagonally. That's the flame in real time. And I'm going to try to find Canis Major if I can. That isn't it. Oh no, not even close. Let's go pan over. Got a meteor there. I'm going to eyeball this a little bit down to that star. That would be Sirius and Canis Major. If I go below it a little bit, we've got boy, some interesting reflections off the star. That's M41. A uh, open star cluster. Looks a little bit like a tarantula with drooping legs, I always thought. And if I go back up to Sirius and off to the left, I know there's some... Well, there's a star cluster there. Center of the screen, not sure what that's called. Go over some more. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, possibly an open star cluster there, dead center, and then another dimmer one, a little tighter packed there. A couple of star clusters. Uh, to the left of Canis Major. Now we're going to see if we can get ourselves back to... Go fast. Orion. And M42, which is going to be... Oh no, that's the flame. That's M42, which looks pretty good. And we're going to see if we can find the Pleiades. Where are... Okay, way back over there. Wow. Alright, so first I'm going to try to get into uh, Taurus. What's that? Oh, just a line of stars. Thought I saw something unusual. So right in here, okay, this is Taurus. That's Aldebaran. And the sort of a V in Taurus fills the whole screen, field of view, actually. And let's see if we can get over to uh, the bottom of the V and swing over to... Um, there it is, the Pleiades, right there. It looks pretty nice. The Seven Sisters in Perseus, actually. Pleiades Star Cluster. Not too bad. Pretty good resolution on that. So that's my night sky pan. I'm just going to kick it back to Orion again for one last look at uh, M42. 42, where are you? Come on. That's got to be one star in Orion. Uh, maybe that's the bright one. Oh. Oh, we're just kind of playing. Where the heck is it? About there? Down? There we are. M42. Real time. And... The flame. And what is that? A little arc of stuff. That's either a cloud or... a leftover meteor trail. If that starts to... Well, I don't know, because I didn't see the meteor. But anyway, Flame Nebula is going to get long, and Great Nebula of Orion. All at 6x with Gen 3 unfilled white phosphor night vision. Okay, that's going to be it. Okay, I'll call that a wrap.